Welcome to Twisted News, where we're telling you about some of the strangest stories currently happening all around the world. I am Andrew. Thank you very much for tuning in, and please do click the notification bell and subscribe. Now, for today's episode, we're talking about a recently released photograph taken back in 1990 that's being referred to as one of the best pieces of UFO photo evidence ever captured. And following that, we have an incredible story of a woman who was recently shot not once or twice, but 20 times and miraculously survived. Get ready for Scary Mysteries Twisted News. Number one, world's clearest UFO. People have always been curious about anything out of this world, literally and figuratively. And over the years, several photographs and videos of UFOs in the skies have been shared, some publicly and others behind closed doors. Authorities and experts typically have some sort of rational explanation for them, and a lot of times the images are so shaky or grainy, no one can be certain what exactly it is they're looking at. But once in a while, a UFO gets captured that is so clear and crisp that it's simply undeniable. In this day and age of technology advances, it's not surprising to note that more people come forward with their own UFO captures using their devices. And recently, a newly released image taken back in 1990 has everybody convinced that this is clearly an unknown flying object captured in the skies. On August 4, 1990, at around 9 p.m., two unidentified hikers who were trailing the Scottish Highlands saw something peculiar hovering in the sky. There were jets flying in the distance, but those weren't the flying objects that caught their attention. One that was nearer stood out, with its odd angular shape and the humming sound it seemed to emit while hovering. The hikers immediately snapped photos, six in total, and they took note of their location, a hillside area near Calvine, on the northwest side of Perth in Scotland. After about 10 minutes of the weird object hovering about 100 feet off the ground, it then flew upwards into the sky at high speeds, and it vanished from the hiker's sight. When the images were developed, the hiker submitted them to the local newspaper, The Daily Record. These photos were then handed over to the Ministry of Defense, or the MOD. However, the story regarding this curious news, as well as the photographs, was never made public. So for 32 years, the photos remained in obscurity, the description of the photo becoming a myth called the Calvine Photograph. However, this myth was finally brought to life when one of the leading names in contemporary legend and folklore, Dr. David Clark, worked on researching about and finding the missing images. Dr. Clark is an academic at the Sheffield Hallam University and is also an experienced journalist for the BBC. He has also formally consulted for the MOD UFO Files Project of the National Archives. Trying to track down the hikers was an impossible feat, as they still remain unknown to this day. However, Dr. Clark and his team of researchers were able to track down the whereabouts of the Calvine photograph, and these were kept safe by a man named Craig Lindsay, a former press officer of the Royal Air Force, or the RAF. According to reports, Mr. Lindsay was a liaison between the MOD and the press during the time the photographs and the sighting were being reviewed. He handed over to Dr. Clark the original envelope from the Daily Record when they sent over the photographs to the MOD. In it was a copy of one of the six photographs from those hikers. And the best UFO photograph is dubbed as such because the UFO's image was clear and undeniable in the shot. In the foreground was the metallic object hovering in the distance was one of those fighter jets passing by. The legendary Calvine photograph is now in the archives of the SHU in Yorkshire, England. And finally, the story about it along with the original photograph can be shared to everyone. This also prompted Dr. Clark to ask the hikers or those who knew the hikers or the case to come forward to share their story. Somehow, the resurfacing of the Calvine photograph was very timely, as in the U.S., there was also a resurgence of interest in UFOs, particularly coming from NASA. As you may know, in June of this year, NASA made an announcement that it will lead a new study examining UFOs, 
recruiting leading scientists to work on available data and also create a sort of benchmark for collecting data in the future, as well as how to analyze this and other findings that may be used to further study these aerial phenomena. The announcement said that the project will run for about nine months starting this fall. It's an exciting time for everyone to study these images, especially with the advancements of technology and the way data and pieces of evidence are collected. If a 30-year-old photograph could still pass as one of the best pieces of proof of these aerial phenomena, imagine what the devices and tools available now could capture that may further help us understand what these UFOs could be and if there is really life beyond planet Earth. Number two, woman shot 20 times survives. Abuse in relationships often happens in different ways. There's physical, verbal, mental, and emotional abuse. Victims of it, regardless of the type, usually come out of their experience as changed people. Sometimes they come out stronger while others become more broken and never really recover from it. There's also the fact that there are people around who may not directly experience the abuse, but they're also affected and changed by it. In this case, my mother and her three children had gone through probably one of the most harrowing situations a family could experience with regard to domestic abuse. At about 11 in the morning on July 23rd, Nikaya Shoemake, the mother of three from Wisconsin, was behind the wheel of their family van with her 32-year-old partner, Askia Strong, in the passenger seat, and their three minor children in the back. It wasn't exactly clear why Strong did it, but according to Nikaya, the incident started when Strong started showing inappropriate pictures to their daughter. This, of course, caught Nikaya's attention and made her partner stop what he was doing. In response, Strong got mad at her. And they argued, and while Nikaya was driving, he punched her followed by him yelling and then threatening her. Nikkei decided she had had enough and stopped the vehicle near 24th and Lapham to make Strong get out of the car. However, the man didn't get out, and he even continued berating Nikkei and threatened to shoot her if she continued not acting right. The mom then proceeded to drive, but was once again disrupted when her daughter screamed to warn her that Strong took out his gun. She turned to him and saw the gun on his lap. Then in a quick succession of events, Nikaya parked the car again and jumped out of the vehicle in an attempt to escape the man. Their children in the minivan were watching the horrific scene unfold right in front of their eyes when he started shooting. She ran to an alley as Strong chased after her, firing shot after shot. When she stumbled onto the ground after feeling sharp pain, she saw Strong run up to her and continued shooting at her point blank. After probably thinking he had killed her, Strong then fled the scene. What he didn't know, though, was that Nikaya was still alive. Despite having multiple gunshot wounds, she was able to stand up and return to her children in the minivan to collect them. They then approached a female bystander who let them into her car and drove them to the nearest hospital. It was only after she was treated did Nikaya learn just how many times Strong had shot at her. In total, she received 23 gunshot wounds. The doctors and medical staff at the hospital who treated her considered her survival a miracle. When officers arrived at the scene, they found neither the victim nor the suspect, but they saw the minivan and bullet casings. While still not yet in custody, Strong will be facing a number of charges regarding this cowardly attack once he is arrested, including attempted first-degree intentional homicide first degree, reckless injury, and possession of a firearm by a felon, to name some. Everybody's applauding Nikaya's strong will to survive this ordeal, calling her a strong person and throwing the opposite to her partner, who was set to kill her helplessly in front of her children. However, it's important that Nikaya and her children be able to get the help they need to properly manage the trauma and abuse they experience from Strong. Not only during that fateful day, but also whatever was happening behind closed doors. Hey, if you enjoyed that, then check out some of our other videos and stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next one.
Oh, <laughs> 